I have some coffee brewing. This is what I'm brewing, the pumpkin spice. Um, BJ's brand. It smells so good, oh my god. Grandma doesn't like this, but I'm brewing the coffee first today, so we're getting what I want. It smells amazing. There's a little bit left over, but I put it in a mason jar. I'm just gonna put that in the fridge and have that tomorrow on my way to work. So, that looks so good. And as far as breakfast goes, um, I've really been on a leftover kick. I think I'm just gonna eat my leftover pasta that I jazzed up yesterday. Oh no, I've got a crack in my lid. Do you see that? It's not good. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna eat that to get it out of the fridge. And then, like, Austin's got a half drink naked juice. So, probably drink that too. Just cleaning out the fridge. The fridge is stressing me out right now. It is so cluttered and it makes me really, like, annoyed. But I'll organize it shortly. So, yeah. That's probably all I'll have for breakfast. If I have something else, I will let you know. And then, of course, I'll make my coffee with a dash of soy milk once that's done. Oh, man, it smells so good. This coffee smells so freaking good. Honestly. I'm making some tomato soup. This one from BJ's. Completely vegan. And a grilled cheese with the chow cheese. Just some... Earth balance on the bread. Isn't that a beaut? Oh yeah. Soup's not half bad either. Hey y'all, hey, good morning. This lighting's weird. Does that help me? No, not really. So I completely forgot to film the second half of yesterday, so I might just bulk it all up into one video. Basically, we have burrito bowls. So we made rice and black beans in the Instant Pot and added a tablespoon of taco seasoning to that. And then I made a like sort of pico pico, cut up some tomatoes, red onion, cilantro, squeezed some lime over, just did salt and pepper. I did my super easy quick guac which is just, they add seasoning to it. I don't add like um, tomatoes and onions because it's my lazy guac. So I add, um, I think I did a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of paprika, and then just salt and pepper and mix that up with some lime juice as well. And then we cooked some poblanos and onions. What else did we do? I cut up some red cabbage. So that's what I'm having for lunch today. Some leftovers that. Oh, and I made some tofu too. So that's lunch. And then I also bagged up two cookies. I need a water bottle. So this week I'm going to use my new one, my Kate Spade one. I wanted to have it around to show when I film my engagement video, but I don't know when I'm going to do that. I'll just have to wing it. But yeah, really cute. My friend Vanessa got that for me for my engagement party. And I like it. And then I'm going to make a smoothie for breakfast. So maybe I'll move the camera over and you guys can see what I'm doing. Maybe I could sit you guys on this pot upside down. That is kind of crooked. But yeah, you can see it. So I've got really ripe bananas over here, like super ripe. I'm gonna put a couple of them in here. Oh, they look beautiful. They're like perfect. And another one.
Oh, I hate having banana guts on my fingers. And then I have some blueberries in the fridge I want to Grab the soy milk. Yeah. So we're just gonna throw like a really big fistful of spinach in there. This is baby spinach. Maybe two big fistfuls. bunch of bloobs. Normally I'd cut up an apple and throw in here, but I don't know if I really feel like dealing with an apple. Oh, I can't open it. There we go. Yeah. And I think I'm going to put some maca powder in there too. I have to get the So I'm just going to throw a scoop in there, maybe another one, I guess it'll come to about a Oh shit, I just spilled it. About a tablespoon. I think that'll be my smoothie for the day. Just add a bunch of almond milk. Make it nice and liquidy. Get the lid on. And then wipe off the spilled maca powder because that's not great. and then get it all over the place. And this is the brand I have. I don't know if it's good or not. I just got it on Vitacost a while ago, so that's the one I have. And I'm going to go ahead and blend this up, so hopefully it's not too loud. And if it is super loud, maybe I'll put music over this part, so we'll see. Let me put those bananas back, too. And then I just filled this with water. And then I found these little lids that had holes in them. They had little like rubber buffer things, but those broke over really quick. But I found that on Amazon, and I also found just metal straws on Amazon. Just Google mason jar straw lid or something, and metal straws. That cleans it for the most part, and then it's not sitting around gross waiting for a deep clean before you get home. Because I just, I don't do dishes. That's not my thing. Austin does the dishes. I do the laundry. That's an arrangement we made a long time ago, and it works for us. And then I'm also going to grab my coffee too. If you remember, well, you won't have seen it yesterday. I just jarred up leftover coffee. And there's a, I feel like I want to put a little bit more in here. So I'm going to put some of the coffee in the pot right now. And this was actually pumpkin spice coffee. So if you see a drip, it's not me pouring really awful. It's this, we need a pot. Sometimes when you hit a certain angle of the pour, it starts to get messy. 
And so this is actually a lot of coffee. This might even be enough to leave at work for tomorrow. And I will just switch the tops around between this one and that one when I'm ready for some coffee. I'm going to have my smoothie first. So that is what I'm taking for breakfast and lunch today. Oh. I have to like double up the little neck um, strap thing to kind of hold the lens because it's heavy. Oh, my hair is doing crazy stuff. Okay. it over first to make sure it's not leaking and I got the little one all the way. And then I have my nice smoothie. Nice delicious sweet carbs from the bananas. Beautiful specks from the blueberries. Like Gorgeous green from the spinach, and it tastes really good too. It's always easier to drink a vegetable, right? So that is it. Oh, also, I have drank a whole cup of water this morning. That's what I do first thing in the morning before I even get up to pee. Sometimes it's hard when you really have to pee. And that's what I'm working with today. I will see you guys later at dinner time. It's dinner time. I'm getting some broccoli going, boiling some water. I'm gonna make the Daya mac and cheese, and we'll see if this is any good. So it comes with noodles. The noodles have little ridges. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, yeah, they have ridges, so there you can kind of see to hold the cheese. And then a cheese packet, a la very the blue box blues. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm hoping this is gonna be good. I'm feeling very lazy today because it's cold and gross out, and so this is what I'm making. So here is my broccoli mac. I put some salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes on the broccoli, and then I just cooked the mac and cheese per the directions on the box. Honestly, it tastes a lot like the non-vegan version of Mac in a Box. So, I don't know. It's kind of got like a little nostalgia feel to it, but it is good. I, I don't know if I like it better than the Frozen Amy ones. The Frozen Amy ones is definitely less work. It's all in one pot, but we'll see. I mean, like a really big bowl. So I don't know if I'll be eating all that. Austin's probably gonna get some of this when he gets up from his nap, but yeah, well, it looks really good.